Welcome back to Timez TV. Today we are at Waikaraka Park, and that is a stock car right there. A uh, little Mazda rotary motor, but uh, we're down here racing the midget in New Zealand. Uh, night number four. All right, got my suit on, and there is so many people here. So if you made it to Waikaraka, thank you so much. It is crowded, but we are getting ready to go practice. They're gonna give us some hot laps today. I think we are, I drew like a seven in the heat, which is gonna put me seventh in both heats, seventh or eighth. Um, the heat races are 12 laps, and uh, we're about to get out there. shocks and soft springs to absorb it all so uh but yeah down at the racetrack hey as always thanks for watching team as tv uh living my best life down here in new zealand um, we haven't had the runs we've been so wanting but you know what it hasn't been from lack of effort the boys um, have really been doing a good job with the car and i'm comfortable i'm fast we just haven't finished all the races but tonight is a new night and something that's a little different about this car is it does have this wishbone setup. There's actually a hole here, a hole here, and a hole here. So you have three pickups. And you don't actually have to change the bar on this car. In the middle, it's like a standard arm. Um, and then if you if you went shorter, it makes it, let's say it was an 800, it makes it to like an 825. If you go forward, it makes it a 775. But so they had adjusted that and I feel like the shorter arm really made a big difference and the thing just reacting a lot quicker because the thing, it, it's felt almost lazy in a way because it's absorbed all the bumps and everything and it was absorbing nothing and it was acting really, reacting really quick. So I have a good feeling that is was my different feel that was the first time we had the hole all the way back shorter arm quicker reacting the thing was super rider tight like oh my goodness uh, the old wishbone car reacts to adjustment it's pretty impressive never never driven anything like it starting to wrap my brain around it with the laps that i've run and uh it's pretty impressive
same for everybody. Track's pretty uh, groovy, and I kind of feel like the old 7 USA is a slick track specialist. So this is not not good for old Timez, but it's the same for everybody, so we just need to get the car better. Uh, sun's about to go down. I might try to get the drone up real quick. Well, that was kind of cool. Just got the drone up. I was playing with it at the beach, kind of learning how to use the thing, but uh, our heat's getting ready to go out. I gotta get back in the car. This arm has got a bend in it, like this, and you connects to the, what we call a bird cage. So from that point there, with this arm bent like that, there can be some <laughs> twisting in this arm and taking power out of the torsion bars. If we move over to the TMS car, well, have a look at here with this handsome guy just getting in my road here. <laughs> it's a wonder he's not been picked up for um, America's Next Best Model or something like that. <laughs> um, the torsion bar in this car, as you can see, is not parallel like it was in the other cars. So they've mounted the torsion bar for the right rear on an angle. The idea of that is that they can get a straight torsion arm to pick up on the bearing car. That takes out any twist in the arm and therefore they should get better um, delivery of the, of the torsion bar with no, um, no variation to it.
me a lollipop. Because that was a lot of work. I'm tired. Old T-Mez must be getting old because that was cowboy up. All right, so remember I was talking about spring rates and trying to, you know, like a trophy truck would be soft springs, kind of stiff shocks, and that's how you get through it. Well, we stiffened the rider up, and I don't think it was better, but, you know, that's kind of what he thought was the best game plan, so I went with it. And uh, so we're gonna go back to the soft bar. We have those adjustable holes, so we were gonna actually go forward with them, lengthen the arms, try to like soften it up, because ultimately, like I'm just, I can't slip through any holes with this thing. I'm also pretty sure they put on a longer ladder. So basically, if you're like a 13 and a half inch ladder, it reacts quicker than let's say a 14 inch ladder. So I think they put a bigger ladder on and we're just kind of like throwing the book at it because we, we can't even like slip through the corners. Hello. So, hello, how are you? Good. Good on you, mate. Hey, as always, thanks for watching Team S TV. Don't forget to go like and subscribe. Go check out my sponsors, Wits RC Racing Products. And uh, hey, I hope you're having a wonderful day. You know what? Tonight is not looking as good as we really hoped to, but that's okay. I mean, some nights it'd be like that. We were really expecting it to be slick. The 7 USA is a slick track car and it is juiced up and holy tonight. So, that it is what it is. Let's go see what's on the track though. So those late models have double sprint car right rears, I believe. They are gnarly, uh, kind of Mad Max. If you check out the one, it's a Corvette body. How cool is that? Yeah. 
Team News TV. Yeah, we're, we're down here with Team News TV today. Um, another shit show. <laughs> How'd the racing go, Team News? <laughs> Wednesday night, mate. Wednesday night, your night. My night. Bay Park Speedway. Bay Park, that's We're right. 51 and right here, I'm calling it early. Hey, thanks for coming out, guys. <laughs> Appreciate it. Can I get another photo with you, please? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Who, who's got the camera? That was fucking crazy. Hey, thanks for watching Team S TV. I'm out.